Thank you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya, and today is Monday, and we're going to talk about some meditation. So I know there are a lot of myths out there about meditation. Like you have to be in this quiet space. You have to sit there with your legs crossed. Um, You know, you have to clear your mind of all thoughts and you have to spend all this time doing all these unnecessary things. Now, yes, that is a good form of meditation. Yes, it is, you know, more advanced. And when you get to used to it and practice it all the time, then yes, you can go in those Zen states where you steal your mind and quiet everything. But that is not the only type of meditation. Meditation can happen anywhere. Okay, you can do it anywhere. It doesn't have to be a quiet place. Sometimes meditation is you working out a problem or trying to focus on something. Sometimes that meditation is you just zoning in on what it is that you're doing so that you can get it done. So like a lot of artists might do it. They're painting or making jewelry or sculpting or in a studio making music or something like that. And they're zoned into just concentrating on what it is that they're doing. That's a form of meditation. You know, you don't always have to have your mind clear and, you know, free from any thoughts whatsoever, but that's like later on and that's more advanced. And yes, that is a form of meditation as well. But when you're first starting out, you know, don't be overwhelmed or feel bad if you are getting bombarded with all these things in life. Maybe you need to sit down and that's what you need to meditate on are those things that are bombarding you so that you can deal with them in your mind (laughs) on a mental level. And you can handle and work them out and let them go. And as you'll find as over time, then yes, you are able to control your thoughts more. You're able to push things away more. You're able to focus on things more, you know, and, you know, it makes it a lot easier. Now, as far as, you know, this position that you sit in, you could be laying down, sit in the chair, sit in your car, whatever is comfortable for you. Because if you're uncomfortable, you're not going to meditate. You're going to be so focused on how you feel and the fact that you're uncomfortable. That's what you're going to focus on and you're not going to be meditating. So it's always best to be comfortable in what it is you're doing. And then you have some people that can't sit on the floor or who can't cross their legs like that. If that's the case, then sit in a chair, lay down in your bed, whatever position is comfortable for you to do that meditation. That's the correct position. OK, you don't have to be in those Zen states. Like, like I said, that does help and you. It does help focus. I know when I do my hands, like that helps me focus. And most of the time this has to do with your heart chakra, which is the one I have the most trouble with, which is probably why I'm always doing this. <laughs> OK, I'm sitting here like that. But that's not mandatory. It's not something you have to do. You know, there aren't. I want to say there aren't any rules to it or there's no rule book to it. It's like raising kids. You do what feels right for you. OK. Nobody can really tell you what it's like to have children and tell you what it's like to raise them. They can give you ideals and examples, but every child is different. Every parent is different. The techniques you use, the experiences you come with are all different, and that's going to make your situation unique and special to you. So what I say to that part is, is just listen to what your, what your insides are telling you. Go with what your gut is saying, okay? Because it's probably the right way for you. And that's just to get you started so that once you go down that road, you can develop other techniques, you know, like in breathing, you know, when you breathe during um, meditation, like if you have time to really sit and do it and you just take a moment to just do those deep breaths, deep breath in and deep breath out and really focus on your breath work and then move into your meditation. And that's when you have time for it. It's not mandatory to do it all the time. Sometimes it's just one huge side that you're going to do. And it's like... <sighs> All right, let me go on into this job, you know? So it's it, it's like, I just don't want people to think, well, I can't meditate. I don't know how to do it. I, I don't just do it. Just sit and just allow yourself to just be. That's really what it is. Meditation is really just allowing yourself to just be, just exist, just be with you. Okay. And spend that time with you. And like I said, as your time grows on, goes on and the more and more you do it, then yes, the more refined it can become and the better you get at it. And yes, you can get to those Zen states where you sit there, your mind is clear and you're just able to just truly just exist in that moment. Okay. But in the beginning, just focus on doing it. You know, you get bombarded, deal with what you're bombarded with. Look at what it is that you're getting bombarded with. How does that make you feel? Maybe those are areas in your life that you need to work on so that when you do sit down to meditate, it's a lot easier for you. Maybe that bombarding is telling you like this is a pattern. Look at this pattern that you keep going through. Look and see what this is. You need to reflect on it. 
you know, so it's reasons behind it. But as long as you just get started, do it, you know, try to incorporate it in your day to day life, like start out first thing in the morning and right before you go to bed and maybe, you know, somewhere in the day, like at a lunch. You know, and if it's and some people think, oh, well, meditation is one thing. Meditation can be prayer as well. And if that's how you do it, then that's how you do it. As long as it gets done. Right. As long as you do it. But the first step is actually doing it and not feeling like there's some rules that you're not following or something you're doing wrong or any, just do it. I'm telling you, meditation has so many benefits as far as like lowering anxiety, building self-esteem, you know, giving you a clear picture and, and allowing you to focus like meditation is. One of the best free things that you can do for yourself because it doesn't cost you anything but your time. And your time is valuable. So if you're going to be using it, why not use it for you as much as you do for other people, as much as you do for your job? Use it for yourself, okay? And take that time and take that moment throughout your day to really just be with you, all right? So that's the message for today. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share because if you got something out of it, chances are someone else did as well. I love you guys, and I will talk to you tomorrow.